CPHI MIS exam preparation question and answer. Question number 131. An advantage of an advantage of the APSO assessment plan subjective objective note or SOAP subjective objective assessment plan note in the EHR is that a it is supported by extensive high quality li literature b it is easier for the reader of the note to find the key elements decision making of the note author c it protects against note being blotted with info pulled in from elsewhere in the chart d APSO has been used more extensively over the last few decades Answer B. It is easier for the reader of the note to find key elements of decision making of the note author explanation. Having the assessment and plan the top of the notes brings the thought process of author directly to reader's attention. This is true in paper note and even in more so in an electronic note which tends to be longer. Question number 132. Moving from paper to electronic format alone is not enough to fully alter ingrain provider practices and perceived documentation needs. Problem with this transition at the health system described include all the choices below except a providers continue to feel need to add data to their note for purpose of billing b manual chart review is still required to assess note quality c it is possible for individual providers to deviate significantly from standard templates offered at health system level d the majority of notes evaluated after the transition from paper to electronic documentation use the APSO format. Answer D. The majority of notes evaluated after the transition from paper to electronic documentation use the APSO format. Question number 133. All of these are important to invite to participate in change control meeting except A. CMOs slash CNO, Chief Medical Officer, Chief Nursing Officers, B. Local leaders from each hospital, C. All subject matter expert, SME for each specialty, and D. CMIO, Chief Medical Information Officers. Answer C. All subject matter expert. S SME for is specialty explanation. It is important to have input from leaders across the organization to arrive at consensus decision. While SME input is essential for developing appropriate content, their participation can be ad hoc when their particular specialty is under discussion. Question number 134. Change control is an essential skill for clinical informatics. Which of the following is true about good change control? Change control A. A. Is very technical and should really involve trend analyst and informatician. B. Help prioritize limited resources and ensure system standards are upheld. C. Has to be done because it is part of meaningful use. D. It is most useful at the start of the project and less useful once application teams are more sure about what they are doing. Answer B. Change control. Help prioritize limited resources and ensure system standards are upheld. Explanation. A good change control process does involve technical staff but also involves other stakeholders. The process ensures that highest priorities are addressed first and that changes meet enterprise operational and technical standards. Change control is not part of the meaningful use standards. Change control processes are essential at all, stage, all stages of a project but become even more essential as projects advance to ensure that previous work is not adversely affected. Explanation. A good change control process involves technical staff but also involves other stakeholders. The process ensures 
the highest priorities are addressed first and that changes meet enterprise operational and technical standards change control is not part of the meaningful use standards change control process are essential at all stages of project but become even more essential as project advance to ensure that previous work is not adversely affected in advertent question number 135 which of the following is not core principle of information system security theory a availability b vulnerability c confidentiality and d integrity answer b vulnerability <coughs> question number 136 a film then flowchart differs from simple flowchart in that it a focuses on the value stream is a physical map of movements of people in the workflow c visually represent the action taken by various roles d maps out the steps in, in the processes answer c visually represents the action taken by various roles question number 137 a type of database in which the data items within it can be described as having parent child relationship to one another is called a object oriented database b network database c flat file e c, d hierarchical database answer d hierarchical database question number 138 while there is increased interest and investment in digital tools to improve the outcomes experience and cost of care the potential impact on early stage digital health tools can be different to a certain or subject outline or processes and framework for asserting early stage digital health tools and the result of our retrospective review of recommendation given to given to companies to better align their products with system needs the most common recommendation given to companies include a do better market research and hire consultant to help you b identify individual who have purchasing power at an organization c properly identify the appropriate level of health system at which the product is likely to be purchased and increase value to primary payer d focus only on the end needs of patient the needs of providers and other users are irrelevant since we are almost interested in improving the patient experience answer c properly identifying the appropriate level of health systems at which the product is likely to be purchased and increase value to primary payer question number 139 what functionality should be surgical specialist consider when selecting an ehr a reconciling long term meds from outside vendors b presenting longitudinal data from chronic disease c targeting information potential c targeting information pertinent to surgical problem and d graphing of bmi blood pressures and pulse over time C. Targeting information patient to surgical problem. Explanation. The relationship between the surgical subspecialist and the patient is characterized by episodic care that is targeted. 
The answer A, B and D are more appropriate for primary care providers or specialists whose relationship with the patient is characterized by long-term care management. Question number 140. When an EHR vendor demonstrates the system's functionality, which points should be clarified? A. The programming and coding Im employed in programming software. B. The ability to adapt the system to clinical and administrative workflows. C. The ability of system to withstand cyber attacks from external sources. D. Workflow of enterprise system beyond the scope of grant projects. Answer B. The ability to adopt the system to cl clinical and administrative workflows. Explanation. Clinical and administrative workflows of the system being reviewed are an important piece of demonstration. The other items are not relevant to a demonstration of system functionality.